Welcome back to Weekly Build, episode 5. Today we're going to be building a tea timer that looks like a fisherman. So this is kind of like my uh, cat tea timer, except it's a fisherman. Um, eventually I want to try to develop one that lasts longer and it'll actually steep the tea so it'll bob the tea bag up and down. So that's kind of exciting. Look forward to seeing that. Um, as always, uh, feel free to download this on my Thangs account and build along with me. So first we're going to be going through the mechanical power box that times everything and keeps a slow release of energy. This is the same as my other builds, so if you've seen my other builds, feel free to skip this part or follow along if you want to try to rebuild it. So I have another exciting upcoming video. Uh, I was reached out by a 3D printing service and they offered to give me some metal 3D printed parts which is kind of cool because I wanted to try and make the pallet fork and the escapement wheel out of metal uh, and see if it makes some really cool noises, um, some metallic clangs. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, I'm going to make that order soon. So I want to also order a couple parts that are made out of uh, resin. Um, and then as well, I'm going to make those pallet forks and escapement wheels out of uh, titanium which is pretty neat, I thought. But if there's any other metal parts you guys would like to see, like if you want to see the metal fishing rod uh, of this part or, you know, some other uh, former design or future design, let me know what you'd like to see printed out of metal. So back to the build. It's always important to reduce your amount of resistance in this assembly. Just make sure everything runs smoothly and the pivot points don't have any friction or hang-ups anywhere, that will make it very easy for your system to run for the full two minutes. Like I said, I'm trying to look into either different materials or different uh, spring designs to make it last longer than two minutes. And eventually my goal for this is to make it something that is modular and people, the community can, can uh, interface with this mechanical power box to make their own designs. Um, and they can print their own designs and have it interface simply with this. And I don't know, I think it would be pretty cool to have people be able to make their own, like either marble runs or, um, you know, illusion designs or something practical like this tea timer, slightly practical. I wouldn't call this tea timer fully practical, but um, yeah. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. So now we're going to head into the build of the Fisherman. It's pretty similar to the uh, Cat Tea Timer build. Um, exact, it actually has the same mechanism and the same gear ratio. So if you've done the Cat one, you can do this one pretty simply. So you're going to want to make sure to start off with the fishing rod. Um, first snap that into place, and then you'll put the largest gear on over top of it. And this is a retention clip. You can just snap that into the groove on the pivot point for that larger gear. And then you'll snap on this pinion right there. You can make, just make sure it smooth, it glides smoothly and um, kind of pivots well on all of those points. And then you can just rotate it into place and then put on that final bevel gear that interfaces with the whole system. Just snap it on, make sure the flat side is on the flat side of the rod. And then you can use your snaps and snap it all together. So no glue, no extra parts that you need to buy. It's all printed. And let me know your thoughts on this design. I appreciate everyone for watching. Um, and hopefully you're looking forward to those future videos with the metal 3D prints, as well as the modular designs that I'm starting to come out with. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day.